have it. So OGS MC versus FXO Inori on crevasse. There it is. Hmm. My suspense is building. That's right. So is mine. And here we go at the bottom of the bottom of the map in the red with the ID Obsidian from the team FXO in Korea. He is FXO Inori. Sounds like he gained some fans last game with that cool Stargate play. Yes, indeed. His opponent here in the top left-hand corner up 1-0 in this set and one game from advancing from Team OGS. That is MC. Yeah, you know, I got to say, MC has just played fantastically this week so far. He has played better than I have seen him play in a long time at the GSL. And you know what? This is actually a really interesting map choice out of... Uh, out of, I said Obsidian, out of Inori because yeah. he decides to specifically pick Crevasse. Of course, Crevasse has the little ramp at the front uh, that's pretty easy to defend at the beginning of the game, and then you have the back expansion. And as he showed a tendency towards a nice high-tech, longer expand-style uh, PvP in the last game, I think uh -huh. that's exactly what we're going to see. Yeah, certainly could. I mean, both of these guys seem ready and willing to try those fast expand builds. Yeah. And uh, we'll see if MC takes advantage of that as well. If he wants to all-out pressure his opponent, Gateways, uh, let's see, that actually came down on 12 for MC as he is just a touch behind on his pro production, hmm. but um, basically the same build so far. Yeah, yep. Sees Chrono Boost coming a little bit later. It's that time in the game again. Look at Gateway. I guess. No oh, PvP. Is you so exciting in the beginning. Three, his probe is three milliseconds faster than his probe. That's true. Wow. Their timings are so different. <laughs> Anyway, um, really it's going to come down to how quick we see second gas. If we yeah. completely bypass first gas, you can assume offensive four gates. If you see, uh, um, you know, gas on 19, 20, something like that, we're going to see some pretty decent tech. MC is actually starting to save some chrono boost here too. What does he have planned? I wonder. Because it actually, you know, the chrono boosts are so vitally important. If you miss your first two chrono boosts by even like literally a second or two, it screws up your entire opening. So it actually is very important. You know, it looks like I wouldn't be surprised at all if we we saw him save up some pretty quick warp gate tech. That's usually the reason to do that. Yeah, and as we oh, already no. see gateway number two now. coming down. Go ahead, stalker rush. There you yeah. are, three stalker rush, three quick stalker rush. Yep. Good on a map like this. It's nice and large. Could go into four gate after that as well. Ha certainly has uh, options depending on what he sees and how much damage he actually yeah. does. Absolutely, and. You know, Inori hasn't really put up much of anything yet as well. Still on one gas. Both of these guys, in fact, still on one gas. Inori is chrono boosting that warp gate research. And MC did use a chrono boost on that, on his as well. But he's still saving some yeah. for those second and third stalkers after the first one comes out and the second gateway finishes. Exactly. And uh, Inori does have gateways number two and three down. So no super quick transition over to Stargate. And he's still sitting on one gas, gas man and pumping a lot of units. Hmm. It's interesting. It's kind of funny to watch a zealot chase a probe. It's kind of sad. He's like, oh, I wish I had charge. <laughs> you know what? MC has actually used all of his Chrono Boost on uh, Warp Gate technology so far. Really? It's not been expended on huh. the gateways as far as I've right. seen. So well, he's just going to try and get out ultra quick uh, Warp Gate. Let's you, see. There's gateway number three. You can do Yeah, you can certainly do it that uh, way, too. Oh. Um, you don't gateway number four. Stalkers. And that is exactly why you'd want to use it on the Warp Gates instead of the Stalkers. If you're going to go for a four gate, and let's yep. see if uh, Inori is going to be able to pick up on this. Already retreating with the uh, Stalker and the Zealot. Three gates are all that is up for him. He has enough money for a fourth, but it looks like he's just going to try and put up a few units, possibly save up the minerals, and try and expand. Mm -hmm. The second gas, or second gas, not gas. I don't know what that is. The second gas is a little bit later here. So. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, MC is going to have Warp Gate technology done in just a second. Those third and fourth gateways are going to finish up as well. He already has a probe forward to put down a nice pylon that's going to be able to work units on the high ground, but still be protected behind the destructible rocks. There's that expand from Inori as well. So uh -oh. both games here doing a pretty fast expansion. And you know what? That's going to make it pretty tough to defend a four gate. Yep. Usually is. Yeah. Uh, we do have a couple more stalkers being thrown into the mix. There's Warp Gates number three and four. That uh -huh. pylon just finishing up. Yep, MC warping some units into his main initially just to make sure he was safe. And here we go. Inori sees three stalkers, decides to stay outside of his base. Yeah, and he's not uh, canceling that expansion quite yet, but we do nope. see a robo coming up. And now he's pulling back up his ramp. Yeah, he wants to stay safe. And MC with this warp in, though, 
I think is going to make a move for it. Might wait for one more wave. No, it looks like he's going for it. Here we go. Yep, the Zealots are going to have to lead. He'll probably stop and wait for the Stalkers. Now, um, it looks like he's going to start going through the Destructible Rocks right, right away until he baits Inori into a little bit worse position. But well, Inori's not going to be able to overextend himself and engage these Stalkers, so these rocks are going to go down. Yeah, and that's a good idea to do, too, as well, because it makes the sentries have to use that much more energy, run out that much faster to throw down those force fields. And the destructible oh, rocks are just about to fall. There are uh, three sentries up. Oh. They blocked the ramp, but a wow. few zealots do manage to make their way up. They're just going to run back to the force fields and allow those stalkers to do as much damage as they can. Yeah. However, a couple of MC Look zealots are going to fall. The zealots of MC getting a little bit baited ahead. That was a nice move by Nori, but I don't think it's going to be enough to save him here. Oh my god, MC is doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, oh, first no. pylon at the front goes down. We do have one immortal out, but it's only been shooting zealots so far, so not having yeah. its max effectiveness. Now, finally, exposing itself and that's going to allow the uh, the center I'm sorry stalkers from MC to target it down oh wow look at that defense by Inori yeah, I mean that's really good that those first two force fields were so good I mean it's so oh, it looks like he's gonna have to keep going though is he gonna be able to keep this defense up nice force field again funneling the stalkers through a little bit the immortal helping out on those zealots but yeah those first two force fields on the right side of the ramp yeah. he looked and saw exactly where the zealots and the stalkers were made it so the zealots could run in and get separated this I will, guy is so good i will say though mc has done an excellent job of protecting his stalker count thus far uh looks yeah. like he's just going to try and run in and uh -oh. snipe the immortal the immortal's down to so low health oh, and man. oh it is going to say second up. immortal is out though oh the first oh. one goes down but there are so many stalkers being destroyed that mc has to run away yeah we're going to see some more Zealots warped in here by Inori, who needs to shore up that initial sort of beefy backbone that the Zealots provide to that. There's another one coming in right now. MC is in a bit of dire straits right now. He is all in. He needs to make this work. Yeah, he really does. Um, this Immortal is doing quite a bit of damage still. Wow, I mean, uh, yeah. even when MC runs up with just a couple GG. of Zealots, he knows it. He has to GG. FX so Inori, Inori has wow. tied it up. Wow. Holding off OGS MC's four gate. Now that is something to write home to, home to mom about. Man. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. You love whenever you're about to launch into a big discussion or uh, explanation of something and the player GG's and you're just like, well, scratch that. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Gotta go. It's always another game, right? Yeah. Normally. So these guys are all tied up. Yeah. 